Remember when they hated, didn't think we make it Now they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hate yourself, you can't look at me, look at me What up, what up, what up? What's good with y'all? All right, here we go. This is for all my day ones. You guys are very familiar with this car and this is what y'all wanted. So finally, here we go. We're gonna start getting back to working on this thing. So here we go. This is the move. I'm getting ready to take the 300ZX to my shop. I'm about to be taking this over there and then we're gonna get back to working on this thing and getting it closer to being complete. Uh, I got a few things that I need to do personally and then we're gonna get to cleaning up this engine bay and all that stuff because you know This needs a little bit of attention, but we are back on this thing uh, I can't promise y'all I'm about to be doing back-to-back -back videos But just know it is in the works of being done and you know, we are making moves towards Getting this thing on the road. So first and foremost before we do anything I need to move some cars around So I need to move this out move granny's car <laughs> finally out the driveway <laughs> it's been hella long so once I get this thing to the shop first things first that I really need to address is I need to radius these all the way out still has a little lip on there so I need to bring my grinder that way I can cut that out and then also I need to radius this back here and I need to get this mounted all the way you can see right there fitment is good so what y'all was hearing was this right here this was just sitting back on the tire while I was rolling back. So 
I just need to get that all secure. Plus, these tires are hella tall. These are uh, 40 series. I had these on the back of the SE, but I'm gonna be going down to a 35 on here. But, yep, could probably run a slightly smaller spacer up front to get in there a little bit better. Probably put a little 20 mil. I do have some 20 mils for that, so might bring those with me just to get it in a little bit but i think once i radius this it should be good uh also what i need to take care of so valve covers intake manifold all the stuff needs to come off that way i can get all this powder coated i need to get the fuel system all situated i don't know what happened to my little mount my little mount just decided to come off but yeah, I need to get my fuel pressure regulator, everything all mounted up. So yeah, I got a lot to do to this thing. I was driving with two big ass turbos between my legs. The big dads. This man over here backing up like the world's slowest semi truck. You got a knife? Never mind. Ninja. Nigga said he light on his toes. All right, so 300 ZX all loaded up, and I'm about to take the 350, and I'll be following my Z in my Z. <laughs> Just pulling up to the E85 station and I need to fill this thing up with some E85 before I take it to my shop. You gotta pull up more, fool! Come on, stay in there. I don't wanna stay because of the wide body. Just flip this thing upside down and there we go. What's up, Black? Dominate it. <laughs> Spots this will be your first time actually helping me work on it though. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm down. <laughs> if I if I allow you to help me, you feel me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. This this is the one that I've been respectful for. But like <laughs> I've worked on all your other cars, but this one it's like when when you're ready, I'll, I'll let it be because I know this is like the big Nobody has touched this other than me, Jamar, and Janky. Yeah. Other than other than that, it's like I'm I've been the one that's that's done everything on this car. He came out with the HID flashlight. That thing you're, bright. You're black, you're outside, it's dark. I need to understand why you're out here. I need lights. That shit hella bright. Identification. What are you doing? Are you running for me, sir? Are you running for me, sir? Are you running for me, sir? Hey, boo gang, nigga, boo gang. It's hella spacey in there, huh? Yeah, he ain't been here yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm gonna put a. I'm about to get my own sign. Give me my one thing. I'm gonna get my own sign. You can put yours right look here. Your car, look, look at this fool. I don't even know if I've shown you this. So y'all know Aaron just got a Subaru, 
Hey. They've seen my video. If you haven't, go to my YouTube channel and watch my video. It's in there. Yeah. It's in the Man, I had it already set up. If you I can't find, if I can't find one on eBay somewhere that says Mike 350Z parking hey, or right Mike's multiple car parking, I fully, welcome it. Car parking, I fully then welcome it. We're gonna take yours down. <laughs> Man. Here we go. So what I'm thinking right now is uh, probably pulling these seats out of here and running these in there. And I'm thinking about putting these seats inside the Corvette. I have the brackets and everything for the vet. And the reason why I'm saying put these in the Corvette is because since this car has a cage now, uh, they don't recline anyway. So I kind of rather just have these in the Corvette since the Corvette is still a daily and this is going to be more of a you know time attack and drift car. So kind of probably should just put the buckets in here and get it over with. So. Like I said, nobody, like, this car hasn't been to the shops. Nobody has worked on this car. Who does all the work on this car? You. Exactly. <laughs> so, if y'all go back to the first videos and when I first started the channel, you guys will see I picked this thing up as a shell. It uh, wasn't really rolling. I had it dropped off. So far as the suspension, the body kit, everything was done in the driveway. And then once I pulled the SR out of my 240, I took the car to Janky's and I had Janky drop the motor in and I had him do the fab work on the piping. As far as the wiring and stuff goes, I had the wire harness sent out. I did pretty much um, all the wiring and then it went to, J uh, to my boy Jamar's. Jamar redid the fuel pump setup and ran it all to a, like a little fuse. That way we can get the car started. And then he did the alignment on it. But other than that, you know, this is the car that, you know, most of the work was done by me. So that's why you guys have, haven't seen this car really go to a shop. When people are like, oh, get on a 300ZX, it's like, if I'm at the shop dealing with other cars and getting content for y'all while those cars have been worked on, then I don't really have time to really work on this car. But this car is like the pride and joy. So, yeah, most of the stuff that's done on here is by me. But, you know, Aaron is one of my friends that I trust. So as far as anybody that's touched this car, you only have this will be the third set of hands. It goes Jamar, Janky, and now Aaron's going to help me with it. But other than that, you know, like I said, this is my baby. So yeah, that's the that's the dope part. It's like I don't have to work on it. I don't got to work on it on my back, like in my freaking yards. Like now, I actually have you know the shop space to do it and stuff. So more motivated to you know get hands dirty and just get on this thing. For the most part, it runs. It just needs to be retuned since I changed the turbo. This car used to have a GT30 on it. it had a, a GT3076, and it was about 490 horsepower at the time. So with this turbo, when I downsized it, it should make the same power roughly but it should make a lot more torque since this is a newer turbo. This is the GTX 2867. And you know, just wanted something that was gonna spool up hella quick and be fun for drifting and time attack. So that's what the purpose of this car is. It's gonna be a sick street car, but it is built around drifting and I do wanna time attack it just to see how this car does because it is close to 50-50 now that it has SR in it. So yeah, we're gonna get started on um, mounting these seats. So Aaron's just tightened up his side, and then this seat's all in. Has good clearance. Hopefully it's back farther enough. You know, I am pretty tall, 6'2", so this is as far as we can get it back. But hopefully it's enough room for me. Moment of truth. Aw, oh, man. 
My head feel hella high, yo. With a helmet on, too? Yeah, this ain't happening with a helmet. Nope. Yeah, the sea felt... Man, I need to get it on that lower setting. And that's barely gonna clear, too. Yeah, it needs to be all the way low. Mm. Right, look at this. Look at how I'd be driving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, even like setting it as far back as we can. We can't even, you, you probably have to get different rails. I just need to go down further, really. If I can go down more, I'd be all right. Also, I feel like the seat closer towards the tunnel, I feel like I'm off centered a little bit. Probably got shifted over. Or we'll just probably shifted all the way over this way.